Hi, Amanda Markham here with another super, very exciting episode of the Markham Sold Show. Today, I have one of my favorite humans ever, Susan Hatfield with Benchmark Mortgage, and she's going to tell us the difference between just getting like an approval, like, you know, you just eh, get an approval letter or actually like mortgage planning, which is what she is so amazing at. We've had so many clients recently that, uh, you know, I'm impressed. I'm like, oh, they, they got online. They went to Quicken. We got a loan approval letter. And I question it, obviously, because I'd rather them work with the person I trust. And you sit down with them and tell tell me about like tell, uh, exactly what you do as far as like this mortgage planning and how it's so different. Okay, well, let's start with approval. So getting pre-approved is extremely important for clients. You yep. know, making sure they know what their affordability, what they qualify for. Yeah. Um, you know what the guidelines say that they can purchase. And I think that's great. Everyone needs to do that before they start working with an agent to, mm -hmm. to go out showing, you know, for you're oh, out yeah. showing a bunch of property. Yeah. Mortgage planning is just a little bit different. I'm very passionate about that because it really helps people figure out their short term and their long term goals. Um, we've had several clients that we worked with recently mm -hmm. that have been able to make a really good profit mm -hmm. off of their home selling and be able to take that money and help advise them on what to pay off, mm -hmm. how much to put down, you know, to save that overall number is. Yeah, because it's not just about taking that, oh, you're going to get 80K, let's put that down. Well, why? We don't always necessarily need to do that. You've helped people like pay off other debt and do other like creative. I, I mean, it's creative, yeah. but it's yeah. also something that you yeah. should do as a absolutely and as a professional. And it's smart, you know, yeah. to be able to talk to them. And I'm not a financial advisor, but to say, hey, it appears that you probably need to talk to a financial advisor, you know, if they've not started retirement, you know, oh, and things yeah. like that. If they're saving some money, even selling their home, mm -hmm. buying a new home. Some of these clients right now we're seeing are, they're saving hundreds of dollars a month. That's crazy. And, and they're doubling their house size too. We did have a client that done that. Yeah, literally. Yeah. We went from a 225 to a 400. The house was 1,800 square feet to 3,200 square feet. So real close to doubling. And yeah. you said their payment went down. Yeah, well, their overall monthly payment overall. went. Yeah, their yeah. overall monthly expense went down because they were able to pay some consumer debt off. Well, that has higher um, interest rates. Yes, and they still put 20% down, mm -hmm. done a conventional loan, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they put their family in a really good position. Yeah. Um, and so awesome. getting pre-approved is one thing, you know, most people do that online. Mm -hmm. I prefer people to come in, mm -hmm. sit down with me. That way we talk about a budget. Mm -hmm. So even though, even though maybe you do qualify for a half a million dollars, does that fit into your family's budget? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have kids, my kids are teenagers, they get more and more expensive every year. <laughs> so being able to talk with families about about the expense of, of life, yeah. you know, and figuring out, like I said, their short-term and their long-term goals yeah. is important to me. Yeah, I, I know, and it's, that's what's so great, because I can't tell you, I mean, I, you've turned people away, like, and other people, I mean, no one else would do that, just so you know. But like, you, like, if it's not the right time, if it doesn't make sense, like, and I, I try to do that too when I meet with people. I'm like, well, why do you need a half million dollar house? Like, you do not have to clean it. Yeah. <laughs> Or pay someone yeah. to clean it. Is that yeah. in the budget? Do you talk to Susan about that? Yeah. So uh, I think that's so important to sit down face to face or Zoom, ask those questions. I know you've been doing that a lot with Zoom yeah. the past year and a half. Yeah, absolutely. So that's so important and yeah. definitely makes you unique and why I like to work with you. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing. Absolutely. Thanks for having me today.